Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And today we're going to be looking at the most worn shoes in the NBA of the 2019 to 2020 season. Of course, that season was cut short because of the pandemic and a lot of players weren't able to you know, play in the new shoes. But we got some good information. So I want to shout out Hoop Sneakers and Baller Shoes DB for all of this info. I don't know how they got it, but they did and that's pretty dope. So let's look at all of the brands that are actually in the NBA. So let's start off with, I guess, 0.2%. So 0.2% of the players in the NBA are rocking Reebok shoes. Q4, Kairos, which is Spencer Dinwiddie. So I guess that's just one player. Uh, Fila and 361 degrees. So I'm guessing 0.2% is probably just like one player, right? I'm guessing because Q4, they have, um, I forgot, I forgot who, who wears them, but there, there's, there's, there's one guy. Reebok, um, Reebok, I don't know, Kairos, obviously, Spencer Dinwiddie, Fila, I have no idea who wears Fila, and 361 degrees is Aaron Gordon, so Aaron Gordon actually has a shoe coming out, so that's probably just one person, and then 0.4% is, I guess, two people, right, so Peak, Peak, I have no idea who signed with Peak, uh, I, I, Tony Parker was, but he's retired, and uh, there's some other veterans that Peak has, but there's Peak, Converse, 0.4%, so I believe it's Kelly Oubre, and uh, there's one other person. And one, I know there's Fred Van Vliet, but I don't know who, uh, who the other person is. But I guess these companies don't really have a big market share. I, I feel like they should try to sign a, a few more people, but it's kind of hard to do that, you know? Everyone wants to sign with the bigger companies, right? All right, 0.9%, we got New Balance. So New Balance, we have Kawhi Leonard, and I believe his name was Darius Baisley. And so that's two people, but there's gotta be at least one more person, right? And the leaning, we have, they signed a good amount of people, I believe. So of course they have the Wave Wade, which is Dwayne Wade's signature shoe, but you know, he's retired and they have De D'Angelo Russell and all that. And then Anta is the same, 1.1%. And Anta is obviously Clay Thompson. And I believe they had a good amount of players signed from the Warriors. And then moving up to 3.3% is Puma. Puma, of course, as you guys know, signed a whole bunch of people, I believe last year because uh, I don't know, they just did. And then they released a whole bunch of basketball sneakers. So shout out to them. They're grinding. They're working hard on that. And the Under Armour is 3.6%. Of course, Stephen Curry. And that's basically their major athlete. Uh, they also have like uh, Dennis Smith Jr., Joel Embiid, which, you know, we've seen his, the leak of his signature shoe. And that should be coming out soon as well, right? And they have a whole bunch of other players. Jordan is coming in at third, actually, at 8.5%. What do you guys think? Do you think... Jordan brand should have actually, are, are you guys surprised about that? Like I, I kind of was when I saw it, I thought it would be a lot bigger, um, especially since Jordan brand is like very big and a lot of people like Jordans. And you would think a lot of people would want to sign with Jordan, right? But um, you know, they have people like Jason Tatum, Zion Williamson, I believe Kemba Walker, you know? But I think they're doing a good job of like kind of raising that a little bit. They're start, starting to sign people, give, Hopefully they give Zion Williamson a signature shoe and Luca. They got they got some big big players, right? All right, coming in at number two, we got Adidas at ten point seven percent, and that's really nothing compared to number one, Nike. Obviously, as you guys could have guessed, and that's coming in at sixty-eight point three percent. And um, yeah, Nike is just dominating the basketball market. And if you were one of these smaller companies, like what would be your business plan, right? Like probably obviously is to sign more people, but then it's hard to do because they don't, they want to sign with a bigger brand like Nike, Adidas, Jordan brand. And you probably have to pay them more money, you know, cause you know, I pay you more money than you come with me to a smaller company that's not as well known, you know? So uh, it's kind of hard for the smaller companies. It's really, really hard actually. Uh, but I'm rooting for them. You know, we want a little bit more diversity in the market. And then let's look at the top four, actually. So um, from last year, 2018 to 2019 season, Nike went actually grew. So 62.6% to 68.3%. And then Adidas is 15.8% to 10.7%. They actually uh, dropped, which kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they, they're trying to do that much in the, the basketball market for some reason, right? And then Jordan brand actually decreased as well, 9.4% to 8.5%. Uh, of course, Kawhi Leonard left. And also Under Armour dropped from 4.6% to 3.6%. All right, let's look at the most popular sneakers in the NBA of this season. So starting off with the Under Armour Curry 7, we got seven players in the NBA wearing. 
and um, obviously Steph Curry's wearing them and probably everyone else that's sponsored by Under Armour is probably wearing the Curry 7. Curry 7 is a great ball shoe and I, I think it's a little underrated but you know there's that. Next is the PG 2.5 and that's very surprising because the PG 2.5 is very old. That's like two years old but I guess people still like it and we have seven NBA players playing in it and the Nike Kobe AD NXT FF you know, for fast fit. We have seven NBA players. Uh, I believe like players like Anthony Davis was wearing this. All right, moving on to eight players. We got the Adidas Harden Volume 4. And that's probably because Adidas signed a whole bunch of like random players. And then uh, they don't really have any other shoes to wear. Like like Marquee Boost wasn't really nice. Next Level was in, you know. So they're probably just wearing like the Harden Volume 4 because that's like the only decent basketball shoe probably, right? So we got eight players wearing that. Uh, we have the Nike Hyperdunk X, and we got nine players wearing that shoe. Didn't, I wasn't really a huge fan of that. And the Hyperdunk X is actually a, an old shoe, so that's pretty interesting, right? Coming in next, we got the Nike Kyrie 6, and we have 11 players playing that, which is, which is weird because, you know, the Kyrie 2, the Kyrie 3, the Kyrie 4 was very, very popular, but now it's like the Kyrie 5 and the Kyrie 6, we don't really see a lot of players playing in them. Uh, maybe maybe it's because I don't know maybe Kyrie just doesn't get along with other NBA players and you know something like that I don't know but um, that's that's a significant decrease in the Kyrie line but we got 11 players in that next we got the Puma Clyde hardwood with 12 NBA players which is you know not very surprising because Puma signed a whole bunch of NBA players and this is kind of like their newest shoe you know or like it was when the season started, so all of them were wearing this shoe. All right, next, with 13 NBA players, we got the Nike Zoom Rise. Zoom Rise is a great shoe, and I believe like uh, all the Nike athletes that th that want like a very supportive shoe, like I believe Ben Simmons wears this, wears the Nike Zoom Rise. You know, it has a lot of cushioning. You got the four foot zoom in it, which is bouncy. You got a lot of support. You got a lot of ankle support as well. So it's an overall very, very good shoe for like bigger players. All right, next we got the Kyrie Low 2 with 15 NBA players. I guess they just want a low version. I don't know. <laughs> Not only have I seen NBA players playing the Kyrie Low 2, but I've seen a lot of like just people wearing it like at the gym. So Kyrie Low 2, very, very popular shoe. And uh, I, I don't know, I, I feel like a lot of people just like to play in lows nowadays, you know, as opposed to highs. Next, we got the Jordan 34 with 15 NBA players, and that's kind of like their main shoe, the Jordan 34, and I believe all the players that are signed with Jordan brand are just probably wearing the 34, or maybe even the 34 low, but basically the same shoe. And uh, no, I haven't really seen anyone else wear any other like Jordan shoe, like the Jordan Jumpman 2020 or the Jumpman Diamond Mid. Uh, Luca was actually wearing that, but he kind of switched to the Jordan 34, so there's that. All right, next we have the Nike PG3 with 20 players. PG3 is very popular, I guess. It's a great shoe. I love that shoe. Performs incredibly. I mean, I guess it speaks for itself, right? There's a lot of NBA players uh, playing in it. Oh, okay. So uh, next we got the Kobe AD Exodus with 24 players. Because when it came out, I remember a whole bunch of NBA players were wearing this, right? Uh, and that this is after Kobe retired. So like they weren't going to play him. So then, you know, why not wear a shoe, right? All right, next we got the Kyrie 5 with 25 players. Okay, I take back what I said about Kyrie's line. <laughs> um, I guess it's still very popular. Uh, maybe it's because the Kyrie 6 was new, right? Uh, I, I wonder when it, when it came out. Yeah, I, I think it came out like November or December, so that's probably why there's not as many Kyrie 6s on this list. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of Kyrie 5. So uh, I guess the Kyrie line is still popular. I'm sorry about that, I was wrong. All right, coming in at number three, we got the KD-12, and the KD-12 was very popular. We, uh, we saw a lot of people playing in this. Uh, it's a great shoe, a very comfortable shoe. We got 28 players playing in it. Next, coming in at number two, which is pretty surprising, we got the Nike Zoom Freak 1. I think the NBA players just like how, how it looks because, I don't know, just like, I wasn't a huge fan of it performance-wise. I mean, it was okay. It was okay, you know? But, I don't know, comparing it to the KD-12, the Kyrie 5, the PG-3, it's, like, I don't think it's as good of a performer, you know? Um, but yeah, so we got 36 players playing in that. And the number one shoe on this list is the Kobe 4 Pro Tro with 53 players playing. Yeah, that, that this shoe was definitely one of the most popular, you know, when they Pro Troed it, everyone was very happy. And uh, the Kobe 4 is actually, 
uh, it's said to be one of the best shoes in his entire line, which I kind of agree with. You know, so 53 players, that's a lot more than number two. So yeah, it's a great performer. It's a dope looking shoe. And of course, the signature lines that dominated the NBA season of 2019 to 2020, we got Kobe Bryant with 103 players wearing his signature line. Uh, Kyrie Irving is actually number two. He had 57 players, which is, wow, okay. Very, very popular. And then MJ, Michael Jordan, there were 38 players. Um, and I believe that's because it's just like, you know, there's 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 players that like to play in like the old school Jordans, like the Jordan 10, Kemba Walker really like playing in that. And then coming in number four, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo with 36 players, uh, Kevin Durant with 32 players, uh, Paul George with 28 players. Interesting. And then LeBron James is 11. He's like dead last with the Nike family, which is insane. And I believe that's because you know, like uh, people don't want like bulky heavy shoes anymore i don't think right and lebron's shoes are that you know they're big they're bulky they're pretty heavy they're pretty high up off the ground and i, I feel like people just want like a super light minimal you know shoe that you can just you know you can just focus on playing ball in yeah, that, that's interesting right um wow lebron's like last and then james harden with 10 players and just keeps going down so yeah i mean nothing really surprising i guess the cubby 4 pro tro is kind of surprising as to how popular it was but that wasn't a huge surprise because you know we, we saw a lot of players playing that and of course nike that wasn't a surprise as well nike just owns the basketball market and my Nike owns Jordan brand and Jordan brand I believe was like number three, right? So yeah, I mean are there any shoes that I'm surprised that aren't on the list? Uh, not really. Oh, maybe the Kobe 5 Pro Tro, uh, but that came up pretty recently as well and then uh, the season was cut short so we weren't able to see a lot of Kobe 5 Pro Tros. But yeah, and I guess like the PG4, the PG4 we didn't really see at all, but that also was very recent and the season was cut short. So we probably would have seen a lot more PG4s. I believe like John ja, ja Morant uh, was playing that as well. So he was playing that and then he switched to the Adapt BB 2.0. So yeah, I mean, this list kind of like makes sense, right? Uh, tell us what you guys think of the list down in the comment section below. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.